हर कृष्णा हर कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हर हरे हर राम हर राम 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 हर हरे हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे बोलो हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे राधे जय राधा शम सुंदर राधा शम सुंदर राधे जय राधा पट सटी राधा पट सटी राधे जय ललित विशक ललित विशक ललित विशक जय ललित विशक जय कृष्ण बल राम कृष्ण बल राम 
कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम जय गौरानिताय 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 जय गौरानिताय जय जय प्रभुपाद प्रभुपाद पति तपावन शील प्रभुपाद ताकोस्वाय अनंत कोटि वैष्णव बिंद की जय जय स्वरूप श्री सनातन बत रघुनाथ श्री जीव गोपाल बात दास रघुनाथ सद गोस्वामी प्रभु की जय नाम चाय शिल हरिदास ठाकुर की जय प्रेम श्री कहो श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवास अधि गौर भक्त बिंद की जय श्री श्री राधा कृष्ण गोप गोपीनाथ श्याम कुंद राधा कुंद गिरी गोवर्धन की जय श्री ब्रज भूमि वृंदावन धाम की जय मथुरा धाम की जय सिनाबद्वीप मायपुर धाम की जय गंगा माई की जय जमुन माई की जय तुलसी देवी की जय भक्ति देवी की जय श्री हरि नाम संकीर्तन की जय संकीर्तन यज्ञ की जय शिल की जय साम वेद भक्त बिंद की जय निताय गोर प्रेमानंदे All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories to the assembled devotees. All glories, all glories, all glories to Sri Sri Guru and Sri Gauranga. The Ma Om Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Madhu Gopal Krishna Krishna Madhu. प्रभु पारसमा ओ विष्णु पदाय कृष्ण प्रस्ताय भोतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी नीति नामिने नमस्ते सरस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेषा शून्यवादी पश्चत देश तारिणे ओम ज्ञान तिमीरंदनाशलकया चक्षुरोन्मील ये न तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्य मनो विस्ताम स्थापित ये नूतले स्वयं रूपा कदा मया दाते स्वापदिक वंदेहा श्री गुरो श्रीजुता पदकमल श्री गुरु वैष्णव से रूपम सग्र जातन सह गण रघुनाथन वितम तम सजीव साधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य श्रीराधा कृष्ण पद सह गण ललित सी विशक एक स्ना करुणा सिंधो दीना वंदो जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कंठ राध कंठ नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरांगे राधे वृंदावनेश्वरे विषभानुसुत देवे 
प्रणमामी हरि प्रिये वंचकल्पतरो व्यस्य किपाशिंडो व्येवच पतितानां पाभनेव्यो वैष्णवेव्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवाश्रदि गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा so as every ikadasi we reading here at shri shri radha patasarthi's mandir from the shila prabhupad lila mrita and here we reading from the I believe this is volume 6 uniting two worlds around the world then return to vrindavan 1975 to 1977 preaching to america part 2 this is uh, the part when shila prabhupad was in san diego and from this book it is page 140 So we continue reading from where you left off, where Prabhupada just gave um, a big program, and then he was talking here with some of his disciples. An Indian visitor was explaining to Prabhupada. why india had to build up nuclear weapons and armed forces hmm. but prabhupad disagreed are we in the right place yes the reason he said was the dearth of genuine kshatriyas There were no more men of courage therefore a woman was now in charge yes the perfect society is not being followed because everyone practically in kali yuga is sudra kalo sudra sambhava and therefore those who are qualified they are not being elected and those who are being elected are the disqualified and therefore um there is chaos all over mm. no more men of courage meaning genuine satriyas usually the head of the society if there is a war they will be in the front mm but nowadays if there is a war then the head of society will be in a bunker in a place where it is safe in the office yes and just pushing buttons in the newspapers also had been much coverage of a us merchant ship the maya kez which when sailing within the 12 mile limit of cambodia had been seized without warning president ford had taken a strong stand sending in the us marines 15 marines had been killed and 50 wounded in recovering the vessel and the us had bombed cambodia it was proper prabhupad said for the us to take a strong stand in defending its citizens abroad quote Yes, America should be strong," unquote, he asserted. But first of all, they should become Krishna conscious. 
If they were actually a Krishna conscious nation, they should declare, if you touch the hair of one of our men, there will be a fight. Unquote. Kali Yuga is really topsy-turvy. Instead of defending their own countrymen, they, they abuse their own countrymen. Mm. In the Vedic times, there is no unemployment. There is no unrest. It says during the time of Maharaj Pritu, if one does not want to die, he will not die. Perfect. Monarch is King Pritu, Pritu Maharaj. Everything is in abundance. Everyone is so happy. But nowadays, mm -mm. everyone is unbreast. They're fighting with each other. And uh, yes, the present president of America, because we're talking about America here, uh, his motto when he was being on the, he was running for election, make America great again. Make America great again. But you cannot make any country great not until you are Krishna conscious. At least our leader here in India, he is uh, into Dharma. Hmm? He's trying to uh, uphold Dharma. That many of the states also, the uh, cow killing is banned. Right? Like Maharashtra, Gujarat, and some parts of uh, Haryana also. Rajasthan. But why not all of India? Yes, because somebody will oppose him and there will be a fight. But if you are the king, if you are the leader of the country, you can do that. There should be no prostitution, no animal killing, especially cow killing. If they want to eat meat, then lower species of life. Like uh, it says in the Sastra, porcupines or goats, or lower than that. So, as Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasvati Thakur says also, the only thing that is lacking in this world is Krishna consciousness. That's why we are not happy, because people are not Krishna conscious. So, there will be always fight amongst nations, and especially America is good at this. Saying, uh, oh, we are only defending this country, but actually abusing or exploiting. Srila Prabhupada spoke strongly, giving the devote, devotees a vision of a powerful America leading the world in Krishna consciousness. Yes, Prabhupada says, if your nation becomes Krishna conscious, then the whole world will follow. The whole world will also become Krishna conscious. Huh? But it's not possible to have a Krishna conscious uh, country if the leaders first must be Krishna conscious. If they are corrupt, if they are abusive, and the symptoms of the age of Kali says that those who are the leaders of the society, they're the one who will rub. They're the one who will steal the property of the normal citizens. Yes, they are being taxed heavily, but then the tax goes into the pocket of the leaders. In King Prito's time, he will tax the citizens accordingly and then he will give back to the citizens. And therefore, they are happy. And this is steered within them hopes of a pure patriotism such as in the ancient Vedic culture. 
when the world has been ruled by God-conscious leaders, Raja Rishi. Up until Maharaj Parikshit is still a Raja Rishi. Huh? And in recent past also in some areas, um, unfortunately nowadays the monarchs, they don't have power. Even though they may be uh, God conscious, but they don't have power. The power has been abolished. The next morning before going to the airport, Srila Prabhupada took a walk in Balboa Park. Hearing the sweet singing of birds, he said they were happy. They just take the fruits and they are singing in the morning, he said. It's like in the morning here also, you can still hear some of these birds. Even inside the temple. Oh, he got caught inside the net, that's why. But he's still happy. Not really. Because he is in, inside, he cannot get out. And there is a very nice nest in the big chandelier. Rameswar. But when we tell people that they may take their next bird as an animal or bird, they say that's all right because these creatures are happier than the humans, Prabhupada. But because you are a rascal, you do not know that you can become more happy. Go back home, back to Godhead. That you do not know. Prabhupada was one time... Uh, he was giving a class in uh, university and there is one student Prabhupada was saying that yes in your next life if you don't become disciplined and self-realized and they're more likely you'll uh, take birth as lower species of life like cats and dogs and then there one student he raised his hand he says, well, what's wrong of becoming a dog? I want to become a dog. Prabhupada says, you have my blessings. <laughs> you can be a dog. Yeah, dog has a free life. They can do anything and everything. Actually, lower species of life, uh, lower than human form of life, they don't create karma anymore. Only in human form of life. Because we can reason out we can tell from what is right or wrong based from the scriptures, based from sadhus, based from the spiritual master. And it is, it is a responsible life, human form of life. But when one takes birth in a lower species of life, then no karma. That is their karma, to be in a lower species of life. But then if they perform sinful activities, that sinful activities actually is not sinful activities. Because sinful activity is only is applicable to human form of life. Hmm? So they may say, I just want to be, yes, what's wrong with uh, taking birth next life as an animal or bird? Uh, Prabhupada says, if you want to have, uh, enjoy, uh, as like the birds or monkeys, no problem, you can enjoy. But then there's a lot of suffering in there also. When, when it's cold, there's no shelter. When it's hot, there's no shelter. Mm. The material energy, the suffering has been inflicted so heavily and they don't, they don't know what to do. Unless, unless in human form of life, they can. They can revive their original Krishna consciousness become more happy and go back home back to Godhead materialists they don't know this that is the unfortunate position of the materialist that's why our movement Srila Prabhupada he established this international society for Krishna consciousness to alleviate the fallen conditioned souls from the miserable life so that they'll be given a chance again if they take up to the same process to go back home back to Godhead just like here when you go up and that road here going up to park you've seen a lot of 
like beggars there, right? They sleep without any shelter. We're giving them a chance. So why don't they take Krishna consciousness and they'll become happy? But they would rather sleep there at night. Or maybe some of them are professionals. Maybe they have an apartment also or a flat. And maybe in the daytime, you can see them there so they can earn some money. And then at nighttime, they go back to, uh, to their flats. Hmm? Devotees like to bring before Srila Prabhupada all kinds of topics for his comment. Conversations would jump from one thing to another as devotees sometimes brought up horrendous examples of contemporary degradation or sometimes tested their own doubts by posing as agnostics. Or sometimes they would simply bring to Prabhupada's attention ordinary sights and sounds. Whatever the topic, Prabhupada showed the devotees how to see things from the transcendental perspective. And thus, he also showed to them his own purity and humanities. Haribo, listening to the class. They're very fortunate also, even though they're in this form. Because they're hearing the kirtan, they're hearing the prabhachan. Hmm? They're devotees also, actually, in a sense. They're getting purified. So during the japa walk or morning walk of Srila Prabhupada, when he would go uh, in early in the morning, when there is no one around, practically everyone is still sleeping, uh, he will go for japa walk with his disciples or his followers and they will pose many questions many comments to Srila Prabhupada about the day-to-day uh, -day activities of the materialist and the present topics whatever the topic Prabhupada showed the devotees how to see things from the transcendental perspective and thus, he also showed them his own purity and humanness. When a devotee told Prabhupada that Balboa was the first man to see the Pacific, Prabhupada at first seemed impressed. But a moment later, he scoffed. Everyone was already there that they do not know. The Pacific and Atlantic Oceans are mentioned in Kalidas, Kavi's book. Kumara Sambhava. They're all mentioned. Pacific, Atlantic Oceans. These fools do not know anything. They say, I am the first man to come, as if before him there was no man, just see. Um, in the early days, the same time as the uh, 15th century, during the uh, days of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, many Spanish ships, many Portuguese ships is being sent by their kings to go discover the whole world. Hmm? And so some of them, like Columbus, he came to India also as well. And then uh, when he want to return to India, he ended up in America. And therefore, he, was the, he says that he's the one who discovered America. And therefore, he called the people there Indians. That's where it's called from, came from. Because he thought that this is India, but actually he came in the wrong, the wrong place. But what is there to discover? It's already there. He was just like to claim that he was the first one. And many of them actually, they come to India because India at that time is the richest country in the world. It's the most knowledgeable country. Many, many uh, natural resources and especially knowledge coming from India, uh, the Vedas. So when they come here, they will bring some, uh, they will take some. And some of the things from here, 
And um, there, the, the one who founded the Philippines is uh, Magellan. And he brought also a deity of small baby Krishna to the Philippines because he came here first. And uh, well, of course, he does not have any idea of what he brought to the Philippines. So that deity of Lord Krishna is being worshipped still up to this day in the Philippines. It's called Santo Nino. Santo Nino. And when the Pope came to the Philippines, because he was brought by this conquistadores, it's called conquistadores, they conquer different places. And uh, it was given to the Raja, Raja Sulaiman, the, the king in the Philippines, this small deity called Santo Nino. Uh, the deity of Krishna, as a small cowherd boy with a stick and ladu in his hand. Okay, so, but then, um, actually the king, the king in the Philippines also, he was worshipping this deity of Krishna. They don't know. In the Philippines, they don't know this is Krishna. So, when the Pope came and they asked, who is this? The Pope cannot even tell who is this personality. And um, even right now, there is a place where the, the original deity has been kept and being worshipped. And whenever there is a calamity, whenever there is a big typhoon, every, every place will be devastated, they'll be destroyed except that place, that area, because Lord Krishna is there. So right now, even right now, Philippines, they're worshipping Lord Krishna unknowingly. It's called Santo Nino. Some scholars, they're doing some research. Even some of our devotees are doing research. And the first devotees who came to the Philippines when they found, uh, when they found out this small murti of Lord Krishna, they concluded that this is actually Krishna. Is blackish in color also? But they changed the ladu into a globe. And they changed the stick into like uh, uh, some kind of having a cross. But definitely this is Krishna. It's called Santo Nino. So, yes, they will go many, many places and they say that, oh, yes, we're the first man there. Prabhupada complimented the devotees on the previous day's festival in the park and advised them to hold such festivals every day. You are so rich, he said laughingly. You can do it. Continual festival. Tell them, come on, take prasadam, chant Hare Krishna, just like, what is that? Who told me? Continual massage. See, I just came from South Africa. I was there for 10 days, and they held... Uh, four days festival of the chariots. Four days. Hmm? They have two hours of parade, and then in the in, in the first day, and then they have so many tents, big big pandal, small small areas, and continuous kirtan, continuous uh, harikata. Continuous cultural presentation. Hmm? Prabhupada says we can conquer the whole world through cultural revolution. They fed a hundred thousand people for free for four days. And what is amazing here is that the devotees, they came from different parts of, of the country and they're all working together. They all have different, different spiritual masters. But because Lord Jagannath is the center and Srila Prabhupada is the center, they all cooperatively worked together and made that festival so successful. It's the biggest festival of chariots, Ratha Yatra, outside of India. It's really amazing. It's 
Bhakti Chaitanya Maharaj was there, Kadamba Kanana Maharaj was there, um, Mahatma Prabhu was there, Bhakti Marg Swami was there. Many, many devotees from different parts of the world who are skilled in so many um, expertise joined together. So as Prabhupada says, yes, you should hold such festivals like this every day. Not just once a year or twice a year, but every day. Because these festivals will attract the conditioned souls that, hey, this is real fun. For us, we, ha we have fun early in the morning, 365 days in a year, starting at 4.30 in the morning. For the materialists, they have to work hard and maybe they all have a one-month vacation and they will go somewhere, an exotic land, just to have fun. And still, it's not really fun. But this is real. Uh, take prasadam, chant Hare Krishna, continuously. Talk about Krishna. Hmm. So Tamal Krishna Goswami says, Yes, they have 24-hour massage parlors. 24 hours. Prabhupada said, laughing. Similarly, 24 hours free prasadam. Come on. But they are not hungry. Not for that. <clears throat> it's like, in the West, they have this 24 hours sense enjoyment. It's free. Morning and evening, any time of the day, it's available. Sense enjoyment. So we should have them also available. Hmm? Of course, we have to take rest. So this is what Prabhupada is saying. Free prasadam, 24 hours. But they are not hungry. They, they're looking for enjoyment. The materialists are looking for enjoyment which is flickering. It has a beginning, it has a middle, and it has an end. Unlike the transcendental enjoyment that we are having, is no end and is always increasing. So there's a big difference. While walking to a meadow, they came upon a man standing on his head. Is this our man? Prabhupada asked. The devotees laughed and replied, No, yoga. He wants to be immortal, said Rameswar. No, said Prabhupada. This keeps them healthy. Tamal Krishna, is good for the body? Prabhupada, yes. Sirhasana, it is called sitting on the head. Sirsa, as, sirasana. Padmasana, Yogasana, there are so many asanas. Tamal Krishna, we don't practice those. Yes, we have no time from sleeping, said Prabhupada sarcastically. Because actually this yoga, now there are so many kinds of yoga. There is hot yoga, cold yoga, beer yoga, hmm? alcohol yoga. You go to America, it says, hot yoga. What is hot yoga? Hot yoga means the, the room is so hot. So you, you, you'll become, you, you perspire. Cold yoga. So, you know, they have to have like very uh, uh, high temp or very cold temperatures will be so cold. These are all artificial. Artificial austerities. Real austerity in the age of Kali is chanting the holy name of the Lord. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Our asana is Padma Asana. Hmm? Half Ada Padma Asana and full Padma Asana. Hmm? Of course, if you're feeling a little sleepy, then you have to go for a walk. As Prabhupada says, this yoga is just the one that they're, they're doing right now is <clears throat> so that they'll become fit physically, so that they become healthy, so that they can enjoy more materially. They want to do that. They want to 
increase their material enjoyment, therefore they do this kind of yoga. But Prabhupada says yoga, real meaning of yoga means union with God. To connect with the Supreme Lord. So they're missing the actual purpose of yoga. And most of the times, they will close their eyes and they will fall asleep. They'll be snoring. <sighs> Prabhupada says, when you meditate, half eyes close and looking at the tip of your nose. If you chant also and you close your eyes, more likely you will fall asleep. Better if you like I like closing my eyes actually when I chant. I don't like, you know, so much distraction. So as much as possible, I try to follow what the Bhagavad Gita says. Half eyes closed and looking at the tip of your nose while chanting the holy name of the Lord. That is proper. Hmm? And if you see the other devotee sleeping, you can wake him up. But, you, but then, you, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to help each other. Huh? You don't tell to your uh, fellow devotee that just wake me up after the uh, after the japa, okay? Or uh, don't don't disturb me while I'm sleeping. Yes, the devotees laugh at his cutting remark. Otherwise, Prabhupada continued, "This is not bad. This is not bad." It keeps good health, this yoga asana. Hearing Prabhupada, Prabhupada's surprising praise of Hatha Yoga, a devotee as the inevitable. So if we have time, can we do that? By now, they had finished their walk and had arrived back at the cars. Srila Prabhupada chuckled as if aware that he was being baited with a controversial question. Hare Krishna, he said. And getting into the car, he added, not required. <laughs> Actually, it's, if you don't put, sometimes, you know, the, it'll take you like two, three hours doing these things. I've been to some temples in Russia, in Moscow, and I've heard in some, um, some temples also, uh, the brahmacharis, before Guru Puja, they will do this, a little bit of uh, asana, or uh, what do you call this? You know, you bring in an air, pranayam, pranayam. Because this is healthy also. This, this will uh, keep you uh, active the whole day. Uh, but we should not put time. We should finish our rounds first. Then you can do this. If a big chunk of your time is being put into this pranayam, asana, yoga, and you are not even uh, half finished your rounds, so what is the use? Hmm? Um, it's alright, but this becomes like uh, a fashion and will get diverted. Uh, if you are sick, I know some devotees who are sick, but then the treatment is that they will do yoga, asana, pranayam, but they don't put so much time. Our exercise is chanting and dancing. As Prabhupada says, we should dance like Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. It's like we've seen here, the new bhaktas, with the raised hands. Because if you dance and your hands are raised up, you'll get more mercy from Gauranga and Nityananda. That is the real yoga, bhakti yoga. Okay, there is seven more minutes. The next one will be a different topic. You're going to Dallas now. So if you have any questions or reflections, let's say reflection, anything that we've, you've heard uh, that uh, makes you a little bit uh, inspired from what we read today, you can raise your hand and you can tell us. Or we can continue reading. Any? It's called reflection. Yes. Radha Charan Prabhu. Hey, 
Give the microphone over there, please. Reflection means something that you've heard that uh, struck you and kind of inspire you also that you have some kind of realization that happened to you. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Thank you very much for this nice uh, proper lila. Once I just uh, hear in Mayapur, they are saying uh, the free prashadam means they are saying the full full life free prashadam. So I want to clarify which type of the prashadam, which uh, devotee is taking this prashadam or this uh, dona prashadam which we are doing full full life prashadam. Which prashadam is free for the all? Actually, For our residents, resident uh, brahmacharis, or res resident grihastas, oh, we have a different type of prasadam that we give to the public. In festival times, we give them full prasad, right? But for the day-to-day, -day, if they come and uh, it is their first time, we can offer them, hey, you can come, take prasad with us. In America, it's like that. We hope always full prasad. Here in, in India, we gave them kichari prasad. Mm. Kichari prasad. Oh, was, the, oh, was it the other day I saw they were giving out uh, uh, noodles prasad? Yes, big bucket of noodles. They're going that way. That means, you know, it's been distributed that way. Um, yes, usually our prasad is for public. It's kichiri, but when it's festival time, rice, dal, sabji, chapati, or puri, sweet rice, gulab jamun, jalebi, rasgulas, all of this. Hmm? So in Vrindavan, we have that every day. You have this also here every day, kichiri prasad distribution. Prabhupada says, no one should get hungry within 10 mile radius uh, of a temple. So that is very difficult to do. Uh, it's not so easy, especially in Delhi. Delhi is big. 10 mile radius, that means up to uh, cannot place. <laughs> so as much as we can, we try to provide. Anything else? Yes, sir. Give the microphone to him, please. Hare Krishna. Uh, did you turn it off? Don't turn it off. Keep it, keep it. Hare Krishna. No, uh, go like this. Oh, Hare Krishna. Uh, 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 actually, this uh, book, uh, 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 Maharaj, you are reading from, uh, this uh, uh, Lila Mrita. Prabhupada Lila Mrita. Uh, so uh, this uh, is uh, uh, how uh, uh, Satsuru Goswami Maharaj has uh, related uh, this uh, whole. Uh, what is your question? A uh, story about. Uh, what is your question? Yeah, the Lila Mrita. So the question is, uh, uh, can it be interpreted like somebody else has written this book? So can like uh, people uh, all over the... Interpret? Interpret means uh, people can comment on it. Like it's just a story. So like uh, uh, how things happen uh, over... Uh, yeah, this is when... very well researched. Many devotees, there is a big group of devotees that go interview those devotees who were present during Srila Prabhupada's time. So... The accuracy of this is very high. If this was not recorded, if this was not researched, many of those devotees who, who was with Prabhupada, they must have passed away. We will never read this. And some of them are actually are recorded. They're, they're recorded. They're using the recorders. It is in the archives. The lecturers here and the secretaries and the servants who was always with Srila Prabhupada? Yes. There is a controversy nowadays also saying, oh yeah, this is how, this is how can this be? No. We have full faith that what is written here is accurate because Sasarup Maharaj, he was commissioned by the GBC to do this, to write this. 
So we have to have some faith. The, there are different levels of devotees. And they are Kanista Bhakta, Madhyam Bhakta, and Uttama Bhakta. The difference of their faith and their surrender categorize them accordingly. So I have faith, and many of our devotees, sannyasis, gurus, GBCs, all of them, they have faith that this is accurate. This is not just somebody's uh, concoction or speculation. Okay? Do you read? The first book that I've read before Bhagavad Gita, actually. I read Bhagavad Gita before I joined. But then, I, the first book after that, that I wanted to be sure that I know who is Srila Prabhupada is Lila Mrita. If you have not read Lila Mrita, you will never know who is Prabhupada. Of course, we cannot know who is really Srila Prabhupada to the highest degree or fully. But we can have a glimpse and have association of Srila Prabhupada and the devotees who were with him by reading this Lilamrita. It's full of nectar. Anything else? Yes. One last, yeah. it's nine o'clock. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Uh, I just wanted to share that uh, in the Lilamrita only, Shri Prabhupada once writes a letter to devotees and he, uh, that exhibits his compassion and his desire to distribute prasad to anybody who comes to the temple. Yes. So he writes that, that Srimati Radharani is, is Lakshmi Ji and she is uh, and because she is there in our temples so we should not worry about money and we should give full prasad to, throughout the day and if extra is left that can be had by our own men. Yes. So it was really touching that he was so, so much wanting it everybody to get full meals. Everyone, should everyone who comes to the temple should be having prasad. It's like you go to other temples they have all this uh, Mystery, mystery, right? This rock candy or this uh, white candy, you know? It's a white color. What do you call it? Mystery? No, no, there's another one. It's really white and has peanuts inside or something, but it's white color. Huh? It likes, it's something like that. You go to some, so... But we're famous. Our kitchen is the most famous kitchen in the world. <laughs> My, you know, Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's favorite pasad? Kitchen. Pakistani kitchen. It's going to be cooked at night, and then the next day he will eat, he will honor. He wants dry, dry kitchen. Vrindavan Kichiri is famous, Delhi Kichiri is famous, right? Otherwise, why will they line up here? <laughs> Every night, you can see hundreds of them lining up for Pasad. Okay, so we stop here. One more comment from our Jita Mitra Prabhu. Hare Krishna, thank you Maharaj. The first point... When you read this Lilamrit, Prabhupada was uh, making the point that we don't have the pure Kshatriyas. That, that is why this principle of this uh, atom bomb or nuclear bomb has been uh, invented. They are inventing and these bombs, these uh, weapons are only for killing innocent people. Yes. So this is not, the, this, is, this is the, uh, because of Shudras and the women ruling, that is why these weapons are being made. Previously, Kshatriyas were in fighting spirit. So anybody who is not fighting, even in the war, there were so many uh, people who are just uh, uh, beating drums. So they were completely safe, quite safe. The no. civilians will not be damaged. The civilians will not be killed. It's yeah. so like nowadays in uh, Syria, you've seen in the picture, in the news, even young babies, uh, normal citizens, they're the ones who get the uh, casualties because they don't care. They don't care, the, uh, the attackers. Um, yes, they don't. 
In, the, in those days, in Vedic times, they may be having a war. They will fight when the sun rises, and they'll stop fighting when the sun sets. Nowadays, the fight is at night time. They try to infiltrate the enemy because that's the best time to do it without being seen. Yeah, that's not the way. It is coward. Coward. Real Satriya, he will fight the lion without any arms, without any weapons. Yes. They blow counsel, you be ready. Yes, I'm, yes. I am going to fight. Blow yes, ahead, ahead of time. It's a warning. Now is the time to, to fight. Nowadays, no, it's guerrilla, guerrilla warfare. It's called guerrilla warfare means espionage. You know, there's like uh, trying to disguise themselves and all these things. No, no real satriya, no real, satriya, no real brahmana, no real, uh, well, not, not even qualified sudra. <laughs> to be a sudra, you have to be qualified. But there is no even qualified sudra. People are lower than Sudra. It's the four classes in society. Huh? What to do? The only best way we can do is to chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. That will go beyond any mundane. Uh, designations not possible in Kali Yuga to find qualified personalities but one can become a qualified servant of the Lord irregardless of what position we are women men old young it doesn't matter where you come from poor rich educated uneducated everyone will become qualified by the mercy of Goranga and Nichananda. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you very much. Sila Prabhupada Kik. Nitai Gaur Primanande.